Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I'm Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. Today for the individualized oracle offering, the choices are dream, sing, and angels. We'll be calling on the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed At this time, I'll open with the invocation. You can, if you'd like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. We'll be pulling two cards for each one today, and we'll be drawing the six cards from the top of the deck. I'm not often guided to do it, but when I am, I'll go with it. So, pull back a little so we can get all six here. And... Here we are. And let's see what messages we have for today. For dream, the first message is cleaning house, number 37. It is time to clear the clutter to make way for better things. When you see the cleaning house card in a reading, it is time to declutter your life. Get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what you no longer want or truly need. Is there any unfinished business you should address? Thoughts, memories, and emotional baggage must be swept out of your house as well. Your conscience must be clear for you to move freely in the world. Celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make your way for much better things. Look at what you've resisted discarding and be honest about its value. Be honest and clean house. And here, to support the message, we have number 33, Peaks of Joy. Your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Joy is yours today, no matter what your inquiry you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement and you've worked hard for it. You're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness, joy, is contagious. Beautiful. And here for sing, the first half of the message is number 35, education. Life is filled with lessons. Be teachable. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have had enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction you take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school. Ask a person who might know more than you do, or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school, and you must learn by experience. Now is a time to be teachable, open to changing your preconceived notions. Be a student 
and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. And here in support of the message, we have number 26, Deep Freeze. Everything has its season, and now is the time to put on activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitious activity. A pregnant pause always allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not needing to. This is also a time to pull all your argu- put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any, any of them. Self-care is the most important activity right now. So reflect, read a good book, or get a massage. Rest and dream. And here in the final option, angels. The first half of the message is number 50, compass. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted territories right now, and you can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust, for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. And here, to support the message, we have number nine, storm fields. This too shall pass. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs release just as a storm in nature must break, for these events occur when electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember, that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. I love how the cards lined up and the supporting messages were very supporting of the the beginning message. It's a lot of great uh, healing and nurturing and uh, foundation building energies about um, use them to build you know the structures of your dreams because that's what they're here for and that's what we're here for I wish you well in this day ahead remember you are cherished you are loved and I will see you again <laughs>